Lamb of God is one of my favorite bands. Lamb of God! Lamb of God! Lamb of God rule! A couple guys over at Sega, big fans of the band, and reached out in hopes of us getting together and doing something cool with the new Iron Man video game. I mean, just the simple fact that they thought of us to use in such a high-profile game is extremely flattering and awesome. Iron Man's a pretty tough dude, I guess. You wouldn't want to have, like, the Backstreet Boys or something in the soundtrack. I called up my buddy, Raymond Herrera, the drummer in Fear Factory. I asked him if he knew the guys in Lamb of God. And I'm like, well, look, I know those guys really well. They're going to be coming through San Francisco in about a month. I'll introduce you to the guys. We'll see if they got any extra songs. So they had just released a new record at the time. So they said, hey, we want an exclusive new track from you guys. Are you into it? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. We suggested the song to Sega, and they heard it, and they agreed. They get it. Like, the minute we sat down, they just got the idea of the business behind games and why Lamb of God would be important to this. The song's called Hit the Wall. This was one of my favorite songs when we were doing the record. We definitely wanted to keep it because it was a great song. Here we are later in the game. Perfect opportunity after having time to step away to be able to finish up this track. As all our music was just dark and heavy metal, and those things seemed to tie very well into comic books and video games. We wanted to make it as brutal as we could, and that's basically what Lamb of God does. Everybody's giving their opinions. We're trying it different ways seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, flipping things around, ripping it apart, trying every way, you know, to make it something that makes the hair in your neck stand up. Check, check, one, two. Check! The microphone's at deafening level, that's about right for The it. basic tracks already existed from the first session. What we're doing now is all the vocals. This will be the first song I've recorded the majority of the vocals for at my hometown in a long time. Randy's all about the ritual. I like to leave home to record vocals. I can't come home to my wife and be a normal person. I just turn into a freak when I'm recording. If you catch Randy doing his warm-ups before the recording process, he's walking around with his warm-up tape doing the And what's crazy is he sounds great. He's got like this very like rich, low voice and he's singing awesome. Where do you get the wow? I used to be and am still a big nerd. I read a lot of comic books since I was a kid. I always thought Iron Man was cool because he's probably the most plausible, believable superhero there is because he's not some sort of weird mutant who can phase through walls. He's just a really smart guy who built a suit. But what the song is about really is how sometimes someone's ambitions and how your own personal agenda can sometimes get in the way of your dignity. Kind of like Tony Stark's before he turned into Iron Man. Out of uh, everyone in the, in the band I have played in my life, Quite a, quite a few more video games than they have. It looks like it's a, a good uh, fly around and blow stuff up kind of game. Can't wait to see it when it's completely done and play the heck out of it. Hopefully it will be beneficial to us and that our music will be exposed to more people. Video games outsell movies and CDs right now. I think it is a really good chance for us to expose our music to people that maybe they wouldn't otherwise hear. And maybe this is going to be someone's introduction to heavy metal. Hopefully they don't even know when they're playing the game. There's no album release of the song. You can't download it off the internet because nobody has it. <laughs> <laughs>